Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be helping you decide if you should use a free VPN in 2021. Alright guys, so this video is going to kind of focus on free VPNs in terms of like three categories. There are what I would call free VPNs or free VPNs, free trials and cracked accounts. Which one of these should you use, if any? Now guys, I would like to preface this video by saying, um, if you want to use my recommended VPN providers, I'm going to put them down in the description down below, as well as the comment, so you can check those out. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is talk about free VPNs. Now, a free VPN is essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's a VPN you don't have to pay anything for. You're not um, downloading it and paying a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription or anything like that. You can use it. Get rid of it, do whatever you want with it, right? That's the pro. Now let's talk about the cons, which are very considerable. Free VPNs are often filled with ads. A lot of free VPNs make their money this way. Um, little kids, teenagers, or anyone like that who doesn't want to pay for a VPN might be using a free VPN, and these companies make money off these people by showing them ads. Um, so whenever you're using these kind of free VPN providers, you're going to be like having to click off of something, being shown a mobile game ad. It's going to be an annoying experience to use these free VPNs just in terms of the usability aspect. Probably one of the more concerning things about a lot of free VPN providers though, is that they're kind of owned by shady companies. A lot of times the company behind the VPN won't really have even like a legitimate website. Lots of times they'll just be like some kind of Google address you could contact for customer support or some kind of Facebook page. If it does have a website, chances are it's gonna be really kind of rinkity dinkity and not that good of a website, which is kind of concerning when you're actually using a product. You, Even if it's free, you still want to be to be like a real company, a real website behind it, right? At least I do. Secondly, if you do kind of investigate on the websites and companies and privacy policies, most likely what you will find is that the privacy policy is concerning. Most of the time they could kind of do whatever they want with your data or they might say we don't collect logs, but if you look in the privacy policy, they do collect a lot of logs. Um, I'll give some examples here about, you know, like this one. If we're talking about like the companies themselves and some of the origins, it's also concerning to think that most free VPN providers are in some way linked back to China. China itself is an okay place. Uh, cool people live there. However, it's unfortunate that the government of China is pretty much a dictatorship and not very good for internet privacy in terms of the global presence. The Chinese government collects data, uses it against their citizens, and it's also collecting data worldwide. So much so, and this has become so much of a concern that the US has even kind of blacklisted certain Chinese companies from operating here because a lot of people have worries about this mass surveillance or data collection from the Chinese government that no one really knows exactly what they're doing with. So a lot of people have concerns about free VPNs being linked back to China, and it's definitely a valid concern, especially when you look at some of these VPNs on the App Store, it turns out five or 10 of them are owned by the same company that does link back to China. Probably one of the biggest reasons I don't like mobile free VPN providers is the fact that they are just mobile. Most of these free VPN providers have extremely simple clients that do the bare minimum, are mostly copy and pasted from one another, and most of them don't have fully fledged PC applications, much less Linux or Mac support, or even support on some other devices like Fire Sticks and smart TVs and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a VPN that you can actually use on your phone and your PC and stuff like that, a free VPN is not gonna cut it. In fact, some of the VPNs that have been getting more attention lately, like Atlas VPN, for example, um, that likes to kind of be shilled by a couple YouTube channels out there that I'm not even gonna bother mentioning, it doesn't even have a functioning PC client. I tested it and it didn't even work. Yes, do I just click here? Can't connect. Hmm. So I terminated the application and now I'm trying to get it to work again. Um, I don't really even understand really how to like connect. It's not like working. No real settings to configure. Um, has the latest version. Atlas VPN, this doesn't click on anything. Let's try a different server maybe. Try this one. Doesn't seem to be working. Which is just kind of par for the course for you know these VPNs that market some themselves as 
free VPNs. Lastly, free VPNs are very just kind of poor in terms of the performance. You kind of get what you pay for in this sense. Free VPNs in my test have had really bad speeds. They're gonna severely, severely impact your speeds on your mobile phone or any other device you can get it working on. You're gonna have slower speeds. The features are gonna be extremely lackluster, outdated protocols, outdated security systems, uh, lack of customization for sure. At the end of the day, I would say that in terms of usability, security, and privacy, free VPNs are 100% useless. Now, the second category we're gonna talk about is what is called free trials. Now, I would wanna make it clear. Free trials are not free VPNs. However, a lot of VPNs try to market themselves as being free by giving you some kind of trial system. Now, I would say that some of the VPNs that offer free trials can be okay. I would say that Winscribe overall is a decent VPN provider. One of their main kind of gimmicks is that they try to get people to use their VPN by giving like a free trial, usually around 10 to 20 gigabytes or something like that per month, which sounds like a lot, but when you're actually torrenting and using it, you'll find that in a couple of days, maybe even at most a week, if you barely ever use your internet, you're gonna be out of that and be pushed into paying and being a paid customer, which is essentially making it not so much of a free VPN, but more of a paid VPN provider. Not only that, but free trial VPNs like Proton VPN, which is one of the more popular ones. It doesn't support P2P, um, so you're not gonna be able to torrent with it. It only gives you medium speed. It doesn't even provide all the features, kind of the main kind of core component of the paid VPN service. It only allows you limited connections and very limited server selection as well. So when it's called itself a free VPN, maybe it doesn't have any bandwidth caps like Winscribe, but at the same time, it's so limited that it kind of becomes useless because a lot of people use VPNs for torrenting and if it's gonna impact your speed this much too, it's like, why even use it in the first place, right? Additionally, I do wanna make the point that a lot of VPNs kind of use this free trial system to trick customers into buying their product. I've seen VPNs on the App Store before get you to sign up with a free seven day trial or something like that. A lot of popular VPNs actually do this um, and I've seen people complain on Reddit that they signed up for some kind of free trial and then they actually got charged like $100 on their card and it's past like the refund policy time because they just noticed that the card charge was there. This is extremely shady and something I do not like seeing, but unfortunately I do see it happen a lot. So you gotta be careful with these free trials, guys. Not only that, but I've even seen some websites and VPN review sites market certain VPNs as being free trials when in fact it's really just a refund policy. So take for example, ExpressVPN. If you buy it and pay $13, and if you refund it before 30 days is up, technically you wouldn't have paid anything because you would have gotten the refund. But I wouldn't really call that a free trial. I would just call that paying for a VPN and then refunding it. However, some websites out there kind of like to trick um, their viewers into buying VPNs and not really realizing how this works, hoping that perhaps some people forget or whatever, and they'll make some affiliate commissions off of it. I think this is pretty shady, not something I do, and something you're gonna have to watch out for as well, unfortunately. Lastly, I wanna talk about the third kind of category of free VPNs, which would be something like a cracked VPN account. Now, you can often find cracked VPN accounts or resold VPN accounts on eBay. You can find them in paste bins. Lots of times, some of the popular VPNs have been cracked or leaked or have accounts that have been hacked and you can use them for free, essentially. The problem is, is that this is not really legal per se. And the bigger problem, perhaps, is that it's not very usable at all. I would really recommend you against using cracked or free accounts. In fact, I've made an entire video about why you probably shouldn't. But the main reason is that you're going to be sharing these accounts with other people. And 99% of the time, that doesn't even work because different users are using it, overloading the user account of simultaneous devices, and they don't work. Not only that, but speeds can be slower, your account can be restricted, and overall, it's just not really worth the hassle. Anyways, guys, if you find some of these points valid, as I mentioned before, you can check out some of my recommended VPN providers. Fortunately, they're all very affordable at only around $5 a month or $30 a year for my tier one options that are gonna give you great speeds, great security and customization, reputable companies, good customer support, and good security, and overall just a good experience that you would want from a VPN without a high price tag. You're not gonna have to mess around with any of this shady stuff like I mentioned, and you're gonna be pretty much good to go without you know, much of a hassle. You're gonna have to spend a little, little bit of a money, but I think it'll be worth it and it'll help support the channel at the same time as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this one and I'll see you in the next video very soon.